Today, you will get to know the Vado Child Safety Seat, designed for rearward and forward facing driving. Let's see how to install it. The seat is placed on the base so that it is easy to change its direction. To do this, press this button and simultaneously pull the lever at the front. Lift the seat and position it rearwards, opposite to the direction of travel. Press the button until the fasteners engage into place. The green indicator confirms the correct installation of the child safety seat on the base. You can only drive with the child rearward facing in the lying position. Isofix installation. Pull the lever on the base and simultaneously the belt on the other side to extend the hooks. Now, slide the hooks into the car seat until they engage. The side indicators turn green. Move the seat to the backrest by pulling the lever backwards. The final step is the top tether belt assembly. Pull it out of the chamber at the back of the backrest, but you will be able to open it only when the seat is upright. Press this button and adjust the length of the belt. Pass it through the blue guide at the back of the child safety seat and then attach the hook to the fixing point at the back of the child safety seat. Tensioning belt green indicator informs you about the correct tension. Now let's adjust the internal belts. Press the button on the seat and pull the seat belt until it slides out. Don't pull the shoulder pads. Unlock the buckle and place the belts on the magnetic catches on the covers. It's time for the little passenger. The belt joins together, making it easier to attach them into the buckle. The green indicator light shows the correct fastening. Before travelling, adjust the headrest, then tighten the inner belts. Pull the shoulder belts to eliminate free space in the hip section. Properly fasten the belts, come out just above the shoulders. Tension them firmly so that there is a maximum space of one finger between them and the child. In this position, we recommend driving children up to 18 kilograms in weight. Group 1 children can also drive rearward facing. Isofix installation. Pull the lever on the base and simultaneously the belt on the other side to extend the hooks. Now, slide the hooks into the car seat until they engage. The side indicators turn green. Move the seat to the backrest by pulling the lever backwards. The final step is the top tether belt assembly. Pull it out of the chamber at the back of the backrest, but you will be able to open it only when the seat is upright. Press this button and adjust the length of the belt. Pass it behind the seat through the blue guide and then attach the hook to the fixing point at the back of the car seat. Tensioning belt green indicator informs you about the correct tension. Children from this group can also be driven forward facing. The base of the seat is engaged. To change the direction, press the button and pull the lever. Move the seat and lock. Refasten the top tether belt only. The green indicator shows the correct fastening. As the child grows, remove the pads one by one. The head pad first. When the child reaches 5.5 kilograms, remove the foam filling. At 13 kilograms, remove the largest pad. The child safety seat can be set in four positions, but every change of position requires the readjustment of the top tether belt. Thanks to the magnetic hooks, you will fasten the belts on the sides to comfortably sit the child. Your little one is fastened with a five-point seat belt. The belts come together so that they can be easily placed in the buckle, and the green indicator lights show the correct fastening. Grab the lever and adjust the height of the headrest and belts. Tighten the hip belt and shoulder belts. We adjust the tension by means of the belt between the legs of the child. The shoulder belts pass through the backrest above the shoulders. The maximum space of one finger should be between the belts and the child's chest. For children in the second weight group, you have to remove all the pads and inner seat belts. 
removing the seat belts is done like this. To do this, press the adjustment button and pull the belts. Take the cover off the crotch belt. Slide the material off the seat. Hide the crotch belt in the opening in the base. Pull the belt out of the side opening. Take it off the metal buckle and while pulling, pull it out of the opening and pull it through the cover. Do the same with the second belt. Open the flap on the back. Slide the belts off the metal crossbar on both sides. Then remove the belts from the large buckle. Pull the seat belts in front of the seat. And when you take them out, slide the cover onto the front of the seat. Put the material into the slots. Hide the top tether because we do not use it for children from this group. Close the flap. For this weight group, the child safety seat should be placed only in the most vertical position. The child safety seat is assembled with the Isofix system. Before the journey, adjust the headrest. You have as many as 11 positions to choose from. The child is fastened with the car belt. The shoulder seat belt should be passed through the guide rails in the headrest and armrests. Tighten the belts. The shoulder strap should be between the shoulder and the child's neck and the hip belt should lie as low as possible above the hips. Removing the child's safety seat, push the button at the front. Release the hooks from the Isofix attachments by pushing them on both sides. Pull out the child safety seat and hide the hooks in its base. Just press the button at the front. The cover of the child safety seat can be removed for washing. First remove the inner pads and then the belts. Removing the seat belts is done like this. To do this, press the adjustment button and pull the belt. Take the cover off the crotch belt, slide the cover off the seat. Hide the crotch belt in the opening in the base. Pull the belt out of the side opening. Take it off the metal buckle. And while pulling, pull it out of the opening and pull it through the seat material. Open the flap on the back. Slide the belts off the metal crossbar on both sides. Then remove the belts from the large buckle. Pull the belts and when you take them out, slide the cover onto the front of the seat. Release two snap fasteners in the seat corners and gently slide the material off the frame. Remove the cover from the headrest and remove the two elastic bands on the sides. Ready for washing. Assembly after washing. Put the cover on the headrest and hook the elastic bands underneath. Slide the large cover onto the shell of the seat. Slide the material into the slots at the edges of the backrest. Fasten the two snap fasteners. At the front, insert the belts into the openings in the cover and pull them out at the back from the hole in the flap. Slide the thicker belt over the large buckle and narrow belt over the metal crossbar. Repeat for the other side. Close the flap. Pull the belt through the seat material and slide it into the opening in the base. At the end, Mount the metal buckle and hide the belt. Pull the crotch strap out of the opening. Slide on the seat cover and assemble the crotch cover. The 
final step is pad assembly. Have a good journey with Vado.